Welcome to the mathematics class. This time I would like us to look at uh, form three, form three mathematics. And the topic I have picked on is logarithms. Uh, in this particular topic, we would like to remind ourselves of the laws of logarithms. And I have already listed them here. So I would like us to go through each one of them at a time. And we start with this one. We normally say, when we are multiplying two numbers, we add their logarithms, then check the antilog and we get to know what the product is. When we are dividing numbers, like in this case we have taken m and n, we subtract their logarithms and again check the antilog and that way we will have gotten the quotient. So log m plus log n is equal to the log of m multiplied by n. So the logarithm of a product require, requires us to add the logarithms. Okay, <clears throat> when you are getting the quotient, the logarithm of a quotient, we get it by taking the log of one, subtracting the log of the other. Then law number three, the logarithm of A raised to B is o equal to B multiplied by the logarithm of A. That's when you're getting the logarithm of a power. It is that power multiplied by the logarithm of the base. Right, the other important one, and which we are going to apply down here, is that the logarithm to base A of B is always equal to 1 over the logarithm to base B of A. Very important, and we are going to apply that in this example here. Now, finally, I have number 5 here that uh, the logarithm to base b of b is equal to 1. And this is so because b raised to power 1 is equal to b. So logarithm of b, the logarithm of b to base b is equal to 1. Or you could say log, uh, log of a to base a, log of 10 to base 10 is 1, like that. So we would like to apply only one of these laws to help us work out this question, which has been asked by one of uh, the viewers. So let's look at it. We, have, uh, we are being asked to solve for x, and uh, we are given logarithm to base 2 of x plus logarithm to base x of 2 equals 2. So find the value of x. So we are going to apply Rule number four, the law, no, law number four, where we say log to base A of B is equal to one over log to base B of A. So let's decide to change this one so that we now have this coming to log to base two of X plus one over log to base two of X. So I have actually applied this one directly, that the logarithm to base A of B is equal to 1 over the logarithm to base B of A. So logarithm to base X of 2 is the same as 1 over logarithm to base 2 of X. And this we have been told is equal to 2. Now we can say let, let log to base 2 of X equal to, you can even take Y, Y. And therefore, this becomes y plus 1 over y equal to 2. So we have y plus 1 over y equal to 2. And this looks like it's going to lead us to a quadratic equation uh, because we can multiply throughout by y and that gives us y squared plus 1 equal to 2, 1. In other words, y squared minus 2y plus 1 equal to 0. 
And so we've ended up with a quadratic equation. We can get the factors, factors of y squared, which when added will give us minus 2y, and that gives me minus y and minus y. And therefore, we can say y squared minus y minus y plus 1 equal to 0. And when we group this, we get y into y minus 1 minus 1 into y minus 1 equal to 0. And therefore, y is 1. But here, we need to remember what y was. And y was actually log to base 2 of x. And therefore, we can say log to base 2 of x equals 1. And here, we can see clearly that 2 raised to 1 is equal to x. So, x is equal to 2. We have applied this law, this one. Actually, we have applied two. There is one which is not here, but we can actually state it down here. We can say, whenever we are told log to base A of B is C, whenever we are told that log to base A of B is C, this always means A raised to C is equal to B. So this is another law, which I had forgotten to indicate among these ones, but it is the one we have applied at the end here, where we have gotten x equal to 2. Well, we are going to stop here for now. We have done only one example, and we have discussed the laws we have seen. We can, we can remember them. Subscribe so that uh, when we will be discussing how the other laws can be applied. In fact, we are going to get several questions. We are going to get some from past national examinations, and we will discuss them here. So it is important you subscribe, so that um, the next video, um, which will be on more examples on these laws of logarithms, will uh, help you to revise what you did in Form 3, or what you are currently doing in Form 3. So we stop here. From me, it's goodbye, until we meet uh, in the next lesson.